happy Monday. This is like take five. <laughs> I thought Mercury was on a retrograde. I don't know. But um, I'm back after a few weeks of really going um, deep, 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 deep. And not knowing what was going on and watching people around me going through some deep, deep soul work too. Um, I know that the this, this sun is at its peak and it's shooting these amazing flares of enlightenment and reality and rearranging our brains. I can feel it. And the Earth's magnetic field is not as strong as it was the last time we had one of these um, solar flare um, peaks every 11 years. Happy 11-11, by the way. November 11th, magical day. I was thinking about two years ago how I was in Sedona for the 11-11-11 star gathering and it was amazing. And it really is a special day. Um, a day where a portal opens up and there's hope and magic in this day. And I wanted to do a reading for my video this week to um, kind of get more of an idea as a theme collectively of what's going on. And it seems pretty right on. I already pulled the cards, and interestingly enough, we start with the great mystery. One of my favorite words um, for God or the universe or, you know, this higher, higher self or higher being is Wonka Tonka, which means uh, the Native American word for the great mystery. It truly is all a mystery. I mean, we can contemplate and figure out and decide, but it it ultimately is a mystery, at least for me, um, and, and about trusting in the mystery, because we can worry and try to figure out everything, but truly, um, if we can embrace the moment like a child and really just witness it with a curiosity rather than a trying to control or the fear of what may come from past experiences, um, there's a lot of peace in that. So that's just been my goal lately, something I've been working on. And one of the ways to get there is through feelings and emotions. So I, you know, I talk about what's going on in my life, and I share with very supportive people, and then I tend to um, come back to my body and how it feels and um, letting emotions flow. There was a lot of crying last week. I am not a big crier, but the, cr the tears were pouring and it felt great. It felt great to release sadness in my heart so that I can be more in the moment. Um, the next card we get is a f another fairy card. We get the water feelings fairy and then an earth fairy, which is physical health, grounding, and foundations. And um, part of my ancestor lineage work was clearing out my basement. My mom left me a bunch of boxes and she asked to store them in my basement and left them there for me to deal with and it felt like she was leaving you know a lot of her stories a lot of her life and grief in there and when she said it's yours to deal with it was very symbolic of um, you know having this ancestor storyline of of that isn't mine but yet it is and there was a point where I made a decision to clear that out not from martyrdom, but from love, for love. Like, I'm doing this for my daughter, so that she may not have to, she could be a fresh slate, she can be part of the great mystery, and not have to be um, carrying my story as much, though she probably will. Um, and then the next message would be about, once we clear out our basements, once we clear out our root chakra, once we you know, feel the feelings from our heart and we've tapped into our bodies, we can truly be in transformation, which allows us to access our gifts. We all have them. Whether it be an intellectual, a spiritual, an emotional gift, everybody has something to offer in this great intricate puzzle of life. I can't I can't have a full puzzle without your piece. And you can't have it without mine. So that's why I honor your piece. And I like the word trusting in this card. It's trusting your gifts. And that is a process, but very powerful. And what that trust does is it leads to love. And we cannot love anyone else completely until we love ourselves. 
So this week, take care of that body, feel your emotions, and try to access every situation in the moment like a child. And I'll be practicing it as well. All right, have a great week. Happy 11, 11, 13.